January 1st, 2024, and it's time for a reality check. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light. I have documented my 160 pound weight loss and now I am living in the light talking about how I am going to maintain that loss, what I do from week to week in order to stay healthy and even to get healthier. And I'm really excited about the things that are going to be happening in the new year, new things that I'm gonna be trying and projects that I have in the works and just some ideas to help people not only get healthy, but also to stay healthy. And so that's kind of what my focus is going to be uh, for 2024. If you're looking for support in healthy living, then I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little subscribe button. And whether you subscribe or not, I would love it if you would leave a thumbs up and let me know that you like this kind of content. It uh, really does help me and it helps my channel, it just uh, encourages me. I've talked before about how I'm a words of affirmation girl. Um, and so those thumbs up really do encourage me and let me know people are out there, people appreciate this kind of content. They wanna see more like this. One thing about me, um, if you don't know me and if you do know me, you know this is true. I have tried in this on this YouTube channel to be very transparent throughout my entire process. And so I'm gonna do that today and share some things with you. Um, but first of all, I wanted to give you all a little bit of encouragement. A lot of you who are following me are, um, are in the weight loss phase um, or you're very close to transitioning off. You've reached your goal. Maybe you've reached your goal a long time ago and you're just kind of, hanging out and you're not really, you're scared to transition. Um, I, and I, so I had a conversation, a, a Facebook conversation yesterday, yesterday or the day before. And um, every once in a while I say things that I'm like, I don't know where that idea came from, but it really is a really good thought. And I really want to share it with people. Um, Optavia or any weight loss program is a vehicle. Um, it's a vehicle to get you from your unhealthy state to a healthy weight. That's that's the that's the process that you use. Whether you use Optavia, Weight Watchers, Keto, you know what whatever it is that you use, it is a vehicle. We are not meant to live in our vehicles right? I mean, people do, but that's just out of necessity. Um, but really, we're not meant to live in our vehicles. We're meant to use that vehicle to get from one place to another and then get out of the vehicle and live. And I really want to encourage you, those of you who have been in a weight loss program and you're really scared to stop following that program because you're so afraid the weight is going to come back. And I, and I promise you, if you will listen to the things that, that I say, and I'm not an expert, I'm not a nutritionist, I just know what I've learned and what I truly believe is going to work. Um, and it may not work for everybody, but it really has worked for me. And I'm not afraid of putting weight back on because if I do go up in the scale, I know how to take the weight off so that I get back to where, and I'll never let myself get more than, you know, I, I really am never gonna let myself hit my goal weight, that, that I am below my goal weight, um, that I just will never let myself even get back that far because that's just a, a trigger for me, a red flag, and I'm just not going to do it. So please remember, whatever it is that you're doing, that weight loss program is simply the vehicle. When you get to your goal weight, get out of that vehicle, get out the right way and, and uh, listen to what I have to say in a minute and live your life. It is, it's, it is entirely possible um, to, to live. You can't go back to what you were doing before, but you can live outside of your vehicle. So here comes the transparency part and then I will get to the maintenance part. 
Uh, so yesterday was New Year's Eve and uh, my husband's a firefighter. He is on shift today. So we had no intentions of staying up late, but we wanted to celebrate a little. So we had um, some neighbors over just to have a little dinner party. The first dinner party really, other than big gatherings and family events that we've had here, which is was really nice to do. Um, and we made a prime rib dinner. Um, I made salad, I did roasted broccolini, I did baked potatoes, which I did not have. I could have had potato, but I didn't want the potato. Um, I had dinner rolls and I made an amazing dessert. And I planned this all out and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So that I did stay, um, as far as the food went, I stayed in my macros. Well, what I didn't account for was the holiday cheer um, and I had three glasses of wine and a glass of champagne and um, that I mean for someone who I don't normally drink a lot anyway um, but for the last 18 months I, I mean since I stopped transition I think I've had two glasses of wine um, since the beginning of November um, so really I'm not a big drinker and that was a lot. I'm not feel. I mean, like I'm not hung over or anything, but I just, I'm, I'm not feeling great today. Uh, my stomach doesn't feel great. I really feel like I don't want to, um, I just don't want to eat. I have to eat and I will eat and I'll talk about that. Um, but it just, I just don't feel great. And I'm, I'm learning and that's kind of part of this whole maintenance process is learning what is okay and what is not okay. So last week, I basically had the same, a similar situation. I ate a lot of sugar on Christmas day and it killed me. And I, so I'm learning sugar, not good, very limited amounts. I did have a little bit of sugar last night because I had um, dessert, but really in the, across the four portions of dessert that I made, there was, you know, I think I used a half a cup of sugar so maybe I had two tablespoons of sugar, uh, but still I just, and I don't, so I don't think that's what it is. I think it was probably the wine, just having too much of a good thing. Um, so I, that's, I'm just learning that. I'm also on the scale. I was up four pounds this morning, which doesn't make me very happy. I'm still below my goal weight. So, uh, you know, I'm good with that. But I think today I'm just gonna really take it easy. Um, I have some Optivia maintenance shakes that I probably am gonna do three or four of those shakes today. Um, I probably will do oatmeal this morning um, and I will do something for dinner tonight that is fairly light, probably salad, um, just something very simple and easy um, and probably do that for a couple of days just to try to get back down. It, it, I mean, it'll the weight will be off in the next day or two, so I'm not really concerned about that. So let me talk to you a little bit about maintaining. When you get to the end of your transition period or if you are on a weight loss, any weight loss program, or you just want, you are, you are at a weight where you're comfortable and you just want to know, how do I stay this weight without gaining? There is a, um, I will link it in the description box below. So just click down below the video where it says see more and it'll pop up and you'll see some links to different things that I probably will put in there. Uh, I, there is a, there's a lot of um, TEE -E or TDEE, -E, that's total energy expenditure, total daily energy expenditure. There's a lot of uh, sites that have calculators that you can figure they all basically follow the same formula it's your whether you're male or female your age your height your weight and your level of activity some of them ask for body fat percentages um, the one that I have linked below has that as an option uh, but the reason why I like this one so it's going to calculate the total number of calories that your body needs in order to maintain your weight. And um, the reason why I like this particular one is that when it calculates your TEE, it also gives you three macro options, a low carb, a moderate carb, and a high carb. And you can decide 
which calorie level, you know, like which level you want. And it gives you like the, the grams of uh, fat, protein, and carbs that you should be shooting for within your day. So I use that, um, that is a really good guideline for me. Um, and then I use the Prosper app. Um, I will also link that below. It's not spelled how you think. It is P-R-O-S-P-R-E instead of P-E-R, P-R-E. I use the free version, um, not sponsored. Um, and I there there are great features on the paid version, but it's really not anything that I need. I've been using the free version for the last couple of months and it works completely fine for me. Um, and it helps me to see throughout the day when I enter what I'm eating, how many grams of protein, fat, and carbs I have, calories, whatever. And it, it just helps me to keep things in balance. The key in maintenance is balance. Know those numbers so that if you want to have a cheeseburger, <laughs> Um, know if you know the macros and you put that in there, you can adjust the rest of your day and know, all right, I'm gonna have to eat salad the rest of the day. Or I'm gonna have to really limit what I eat the rest of the day. Or the other option is, and this is, I learned this from, um, I watched this girl on YouTube, um, Katina Eats Kilo, so shout out to Katina. Um, I, I as, a, as an overweight girl, I absolutely loved and do love watching her. Um, she's a professional eater, so I know that sounds really weird, uh, but she's also a bodybuilder, so she's very health conscious. And she talks multiple times about how she eats the way she eats for those events and maintains her body. And she is extremely fit. Um, and one thing that she said, and I, I started watching her videos, like I, well, I have only been watching them for a few months, uh, but I started back and watched her earliest videos and moved forward. And she um, talks about how she looks more at the calories over the course of a week. And then if she eat, has a day where she eats 3,000, 4,000 calories, then she just adjusts the rest of the week to accommodate that overage. So, you know, when you have a celebration day and you eat a lot for Christmas, for New Year's, for a birthday, for whatever, adjust the rest of your week so that you're, and it really, I, I can, I did the math the other day for if you, you know, if you go over your daily expenditure by like a thousand calories, well, you're really only having to deduct about 200 calories from the rest of the days of the week. And that's not a lot. I mean, you can drop 50 calories from four of your different fueling times and still lose weight. I'll also encourage you, one of the um, biggest things that I learned from doing Optavia is that my body really does well eating six times a day. Uh, these are not six meals. Uh, Basically, I eat four snacks, so four very small, anywhere from 120 calories to maybe 200 calories. Is, I rarely hit 200 calories on those. Um, and then I eat two meals that are between 200 and 400 calories. Occasionally that will go a little higher than 400, but very rarely. Um, I try to spread my calories out like that throughout the day. I also drink a lot of water. Um, I probably need to cut back on the amount of water that I drink because, uh, you know, they say you should drink half your weight in ounces of water and I drink way more than that. Um, so I probably do need to start cutting back, but that's just a holdover from when I needed to drink that much water. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to make some adjustments. Um, as you are maintaining your weight loss, you do constantly, just constantly be in touch with how you feel, how your body looks, constantly be checking your weight. And I don't mean constantly throughout the day, but you know, whether you weigh every day or you weigh once a week, um, I would weigh at least once a week and keep an eye on those numbers and just make sure that you are staying um, in your 
your weight loss range. If you start to go up, then just reduce your calories the next day and, and make it work. So that's it for today. I am excited about a new year. I am, I really am working on a cookbook. Um, I am getting some help in some areas of that, which is going to be um, good. I'm hoping maybe by this summer, I'd love to know if you would prefer, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know, would you prefer a printed cookbook or a digital cookbook? That's my biggest question right there. And I am looking forward to making many more videos, doing some recipe videos, uh, doing some more what I eat in a day videos. Um, today would have been a really good day to do that, but I think I'm gonna do a really simple shakes and salad kind of day and see how that goes. So maybe later this week I'll do one. Back to teaching this week, which I'm really excited about and um, just looking forward to a great 2024. So until I see you next time, please live in the light.